This might be a difficult question to answer, but I'll give it a shot. What separates the guy who makes it to the big leagues and the guy who is a career minor leaguer? A lot of luck. And uh, a lot of luck, and then get that opportunity, get moved up to double A or whatever it is, and then just really shine, man. You know? During the Red Sox regular season games here as well, you see visiting players who are coming to Fenway for the first time for the exact same thing. Steve Mortimer to deep right field, and we're no longer tied. his third consecutive game. This one gives Harrisburg a 9-8 lead. ultimate goal would be to make the triple-a team you know I, I suppose every year you should come into spring training with the goal of moving up one level some years it's a little unrealistic I know one of my friends that I've been playing that I played with last year has pretty much got that triple-a job but if I could make it as an outfield or something that'd be great so that's always my goal um, but on a more s simpler note my goal would just be to uh, keep my career going get one more season out of this body so funny though man it's really after a while, you know, when you play long enough, you quit taking it so seriously all the time. And it I mean, it doesn't mean you don't care. It's just that if you look at it from a little more cynical point of view, what we do every day out here is really funny. Yeah, I, I think like if you're in the business world and uh, you're, you're in an office and you're competing for that next position and you and another guy are competing, you're probably not buddies. You're not traveling around together. You don't live together. You know, you're not going out to eat together. You're strictly competitors. And in, in baseball, the guys that, you know, the fe my fellow first baseman or another guy who plays outfield or, you know, all those things, I live with that guy. And I ride on a bus with that guy. And I eat meals with that guy. And it's just, it's a very interesting dynamic. It turns out that last year, between playing in double A for 140 games and working my off-season jobs, I made a whopping $11,000. 11,189. He just keeps popping his head up. 
looking at me like I don't know he's there. So. Well, I'm old, Huda. I'm <laughs> closer to 30 than I ever thought I'd be. 20, I'll be 27 in June. Still feel 22, though. My body doesn't feel any different. Good luck, son. I think I think I'm probably a legitimate two position guy now. I played gosh, I think I played 35 40 games in the outfield last year probably. So I think I I think maybe you can put that dash and you can go first base and then put that dash and then put an OF probably. That's the way I view myself, so. Guy like a long shot guy like Steve Mortimer, what would you what would you talk about? What would you say? I talk about his power. Is uh, is athleticism, <laughs> above average first baseman, average outfield. Yeah. So with real good power, has has all the makings to do it. It's got to be more consistent. I get a job. And yeah, I said I want to stay home and I want to be a slob. But my mama told me I can't be a slob. But my mama kicked me out and she put me on the streets. I moved down to Florida to take a couple swings. Sometimes I wonder what I'm going to do Cause there ain't no cure for the summertime blues so I've been down here getting blisters and lifting weights So it, that felt good today, you know, it's fun when people ask you Hey Mort, when did you get here? Oh, three weeks ago, man, pulled in here on the 15th I've probably been taking, shoot, on average probably two, 200, 250, maybe 300 swings a day Seems like you gotta, you gotta figure there's about 75 balls in each bucket. So, I feel extremely good. I feel confident. And like you said, I mean, I feel like there, I, there's nothing more I could have possibly done to get ready for this. You feel nervous at all? Been through it too many times. I know exactly what to expect, you know, to prove yourself. And after camp days and stuff, it'll turn out to about 12 games. <laughs> Can you believe that? 14 days in your case, is that too long or too short? Too short. I've been a pretty dang good spring training player in the past, and I don't see why anything should be any different this year. Just be exactly what I need, man. Look how easy it accelerates. I'm just taking it easy on the throttle. I'll tell you what, child. If I pulled up to the stadium in this thing, I'd get some laughs. But I'd have to lock it up, too. You'd have to lock it up. Because people would, would love to ride this thing. It's got to get a switch. Look at that. I don't see that happening. <laughs> you just think it's